Hello world, this is Daniel from Nerds with Academy, and today I'm going to be continuing Massive Chalice. This is part 16 of my beta playthrough. Let's go. Let's continue. So when last we met, I uh, I defended my Sage Rights Guild from a uh, well, shall we say a project gone wrong. One of my Sage Rights decided it would be a good idea to create some kind of device, and they didn't know what it did. And me, being the kind and general ru ruler and rather foolish ruler, I decided to just turn it on and it ended up being this gateway to Cadence land and so the uh, the Cadence attacked my Sage Rites guild. I lost a couple Sage Rites um, and also one of my Caber Jacks but overall it was an okay defense. I'm sorry if I wasn't talking a lot during that battle also normally I like to describe like what I'm thinking but that battle it was just so focused in on it trying to survive. There were a lot of those advanced bulwarks and they are really tricky to deal with. Um, I think really you have to use a high damage follow-up shot hunter to kill them. I mean, otherwise they just they do too much damage to you because they'll, they'll hit two guys a turn and they hit for around 15 to 17 damage, and that just it's essentially it's it's 30 dam 30 points of damage worth each turn for each one, and so yeah, it's just there's there's no way to go toe to toe with them. You just have to take them out at long range um, before they can proc their shell. Okay. Um, well, the good news is that my other regions aren't too corrupted. Uh, House Nord is a little bit corrupted. Um, speaking of which, does this guy have a partner? He's 12. Never mind. Oh, she's, she's 12? She's 12. She's 12. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was pretty intense. <laughs> and so anyway, I just I needed a bit of a break. And so now, um, let's just... How old is my Crucible person? I know I want to retire Winter when this person dies. But they're only 28, so that's probably not going to happen, actually. Because I think Winter is older, even. But she is equally badass. Although I might retire her. Hmm. Nah. She might just be with us in, I don't think, until the end of the game. But uh, Jessica McGirt, Regent of, Diasor Regent of Diasolaris, has died. No. McGirt's. Okay. I swear, if one more of you McGirths is disheartened, I just might let your entire family uh, fall. Patriotic, nervous, asthmatic, hmm, faint-hearted. That was annoying too, actually. I'm gonna gamble on. Samira has the relic though, which is kind of annoying. Kuka? Patriotic is good and Rebel's fine. Nervous and Asthmatic are both annoying though. Hmm. I'll do Kuka, I think. And then maybe I can find someone with good um, a good partner. Stefan Page? Hardy? Hmm, not too bad. Actually, the Hardy wouldn't be bad for the Caber Jacks. An increased chance of having children is good, even though Stefan's a little bit old here. Hmm. Or Jared, Wily, quick and nimble. None of those things are. Well, the Wily is good for Caber Jacks, but the quick and nimble. I mean, it's nice to have, but it's not. Not really great. Good old Creed. Hmm. Brainy. Do I have anyone that's. strong willed, Wily? Niels isn't a bad choice here. The Wily is a pretty good stat. Young at heart, hearty, bountiful. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do... I think Niels is a little bit more appropriate as far as age goes. Although... Hmm. Which 
I think I'm going to do Stefan. I think this is a more... It's a less appropriate match age-wise, but it's more appropriate in terms of their skills. So, we'll be happy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, how am I doing on... For just regular active people, I'm doing okay. And I have a number of trainees coming. Uh, four more Geislings, two more Nords, a Page, and a couple of McGirts. And as far as active heroes go, I'm up to maybe 12. Um, although I'm out of, uh, yeah, it might be Arthur McGirt. Hmm. Not amazing, but okay. Yeah, Winter, what's her face? She is just a straight up baller. Bare strength, strong willed, hardy, attuned, oblivious in her prime. Yeah, she is just amazing. She's probably going to hit level 10 too and then get the chalk one up. Each kill increases damage bonus for all attacks. I wonder if this is cumulative over missions because then uh, that would be pretty interesting I, yeah I don't know if it is or not I'm surprised that it doesn't show you the total lifetime kills of each hero so you have strength armor dexterity evasion intelligence resistance HP accuracy speed sight intuition but it seems odd that there's not a, a history of like oh and this character killed you know a hundred different cadence and so anyway um, Advanced Caper Jack armor. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, so, what am I going to research after this? Do I know? Armor boost? Actually, I think the uh, getting the health stone or the extra, yeah, the ultra elixir is probably the next best thing that I should get. Um, either that or maybe try out the Vitala band. Wellness rings sold outside the capital is supposed to promote good health of the wearer. With some research, we can modify them to increase the health. That could be really good, uh, depending on how much health I did. If it's five extra health, it's not that good, but if it's a hero gets 15 extra health, you know, if it's one more attack, that would be. It could be useful. Okay, let's keep going here. Condolences. Jasmine of the Sage Rites Guilt has died. I know. Um, I'm glad that Half Nose is in there. He had a, a long and storied life as a hunter. Mm hmm. Let's see here. Aurea? She's still in her prime. I might actually retire Chameleon. He's sort of a medium good hunter, but he has 11 intuition, which is very good. I like that from a lore perspective too, because then that would mean that Chameleon has all this battlefield experience and all this battlefield experience and can inform the other sage rites about what's going on. And that 11 intuition is pretty good too. Yeah, that's a big chunk of that. I'm gonna do that. I, I think I think Creed has has done uh, done his part, and can be retired now into the Sage Rites Guild. Uh, that, yeah, that 11 intuition is great. Let's see, I'm probably gonna be attacked pretty soon. Oh wait. There's something important I had to do in 213. I think, uh, yes, the Relores need a partner. So we're looking for, these are, and apparently it's a it's an alchemist house now. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Because I know that, that Teneo, uh, Teneo was adopted from the, from 
the affair with my standard and one of the, one of the relors, and then I felt bad, and so I put them in the same family. And so I don't know if these children are going to keep being alchemists, or or if they're going to keep being caberjacks, or if now they're actually alchemists. And so I might um, I might not understand. I might choose the wrong thing. I guess just choose somebody that's going to be sort of generally useful or ge yeah, sickly slow learner and nervous oblivious. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Neil's page. Um, he has brainy and strong-willed and wily, and all of those are. These are good whether the kids end up being caberjacks or alchemists. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna marry in uh, Neil's page there. And I think there was there's one other keep that I needed to address, I believe. Um, no. Sarah Page. It's brainy. Strong willed pack hunter. Okay. Is it the McGirts? Someone needed to no, you guys are doing fine. Let's see. Kyron. Yeah, here we go. Again, more alchemists. I want to keep Jared around for... He's going to be my replacement for a chameleon. Um, I think I might... So do I have any upcoming trainees that would be good? to marry into that alchemist house, uh, heroes, trainees. So this is the Nord family. Nope. No, I don't know about that. Actually, let's sort by age. Uh, can't sort by gender, okay. So we want a male, I think? I don't have any male trainees, that's interesting. I wonder how that happened. Well, and he's old. Byron, Ryan. Let's do a. Uh... Oh, she's good too. Ada. God, the Geislings are just such a great house now. They're all doing really well. It's amazing. I could see this relationship working. They're not gonna have any kids, but that's okay. They'll still give Siv uh, a nice boost. Let's see here. Oh, yikes. Whew. Condulgences. Kyrena Geisling, regent of Skirnir Tower, has died of natural causes at 66. Uh oh. Do I retire winter? And get a whole bunch of really, really high level um, hunters. She's so good though. Uh. I mean, she's amazingly good. She, yeah, she has 46% evasion. I think that's how that works. And then 26 dexterity. Though, if I retire her and marry her with somebody that has nimble, I would get a whole bunch of nimble people that would be like level 8 and 9. I think that's probably the way to go. And quite frankly, 
I think Winter is the head of this house. And so... Yeah, I'm gonna retire Winter. Oh, she's just so good though, it's hard. Oh no. Well, let's we'll just see. Um, Rebecca. Yeah, we've got we've got some good replacements that are a little bit lower level, but we can level up. And then once Winter is in there, everyone because she's such high level, everyone else is gonna be really good. Uh, her stats aren't amazing, really. Oblivious is kind of bad, but attuned, hardy, bare strength, and strong will are all good. So yeah, I think Winter is. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna equip her with just her regular armor. Okay, Winter, you are now the head of the house. Let's see. Oh, no, cancel. And there are no suitable mit matches for you. Shoot. Although I will say that Karina guys in here, you are going to get leveled up. Let's see here. Um, wait, so I, I really don't have any heroes. Adopt a baby boy, recruit new heroes. Mm. Utility boost? It's not bad. No, that's not what I want though. I want uh, not the research, I want heroes, trainees. So I don't have any males. Really? <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, so wait, do I really need to marry? Oh, I guess I have a, a, a couple guys, but they're not. Um, Wait. Cancel. Oh, no, no, cancel. Chance for children. Um, disheartened. That's not happening. That's actually a pretty good match. Um, I wish he were younger, but um, and Queenmaker might cause me problems because I keep having all women. But he's got he's got nimble and spry, so that's actually that's fine. Um, and again, I'm gonna take off his armor. I'm gonna equip him with the fancy caber armor. This looks better. Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oh, William McGirt. He's low level, but that's okay. And he has slightly lower chance to have kids, but um, that'll be fine. It's more important that I get some of Winter's progeny in there. Territory is under attack. Okay. The cadence is advancing, attempting to drastically increase corruption in our lands. I think I need to defend House Nord. Oh man, really? 70 days away from the advanced caber armor. And the reward is going to be a 25% reduction in current research time. That's useless. Oh, that sucks. I mean, otherwise I lose the entire house, though. Um, it's not worth it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to defend here kind of rubs me the wrong way that I got the bad bonus, but what can you do? So we've got Matil, the steady hander, and she's she did she did well. Oh excuse me, burpee. Um let's see, double health potions? Okay. Um Aurea Page are pretty impressive. I think we're gonna add some guys limbs now. We just have to decide which ones for our hunters. Uh, Shermaine Geisling is a strong contender. Rebecca is quick, tranquil, and optimistic. Tranquil and optimistic is, again, one of these combinations that's kind of bad when you get both of them. Because although you have increased accuracy, uh, your true hit chance is a little bit lower than you think it is. Um, I think Rebecca is a good choice, though. And so I'm going to equip her with a... Hmm, 
I think the bone bar bow is a little bit better than just the standard one. And I'll give her a steady hander just because I don't trust her optimism. And I will give her skills. I like the follow-up. Um, I'm tearing. I think Flaro is quite a bit better than Hobbling Shot. It's really, do you want to stop melee enemies versus ranged enemies? So, so I'm going to get you in there. I think I'm going to go three Hunters and then one Caber Jack, unless I have another good Caber Jack. Samira? How are you? You're nimble. That's not bad. Pack Hunter. And you're using Fear. You're using the... the... Actually, you know what? I wonder... Your stats 29 or 27 plus 9. What is Samira? Just 24. Oh, though I wonder if that's the armor. It's like that. I like rebound actually. I've decided. Uh, Oops, find Kaylee back. And I think the steady hander just because if you miss your stun. The caber jack is almost useless. So she's a little bit more frail. Oops. Samira. I'm gonna bring Samira instead, I think. Uh, and then I'm definitely gonna bring another of the of the guys. I have to decide which one. Laura. Sickly and bountiful. Mm. Jared. Wasn't Jared pretty good? He's quick and nimble. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Jared. And I'm gonna give him the... Oh, he gets birthright too. That's even better. And the steady hander. And the OP armor of a penis. Um, actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna bring three hunters instead of the second caber jack. So I'm going to replace you with uh, Maya. Tranquil Avenger is pretty good. Or Tranquil is just good in general. Laura? No, not Laura. Yeah, Ada. Is Brainy and Nimble? Can do Ada. Athena? Nah, I think Ada. Uh, confirm. And then I'm going to give her... I think the bone bar bow allows for some things that the regular bow doesn't. And so I think it's better than just the standard one. And then it's yeah. There we go. Oh, Jared, you need to get leveled up here. Uh, I'm going to give you put it down. And the. Again, I think Flaro is better in just about every case. I guess the hobbling shot. Hmm. I'll give you Flaro, and then I'll when I level up um, Ada, I'll give her the other one. Oh, I can't. Oh, she's about to get it. Yeah, if she gets one kill, she'll get it. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. This is a good team. Again, how's Geisling? It's too powerful. One of your heroes looks a little queasy. Maybe tell them it'd be best not to eat right before a jump. And now we've got a pig floating in our bowl. Wait. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. This is an interesting start. Uh, let's see here. I need to get Alchemist up here. My only concern is if I move here, I'll probably reveal these guys, and I don't know what they are. It could be two more advanced bulwarks. So I think my best move is to retreat uh, just for now and stop away. Uh, let's see you. Uh, let's see, I think. 
same type of deal, I think, just retreat. Yep, there's definitely at least one more bulwark right there. I got a glimpse of him. A new caber jack, huzzah! bad guys in there. I don't know. Okay. Been spotted. That guy can see, but the other guy can't. Okay, um, and I can just start making your way away. I think there's no reason to rush this one. So I'm gonna retreat out first, and then, um, are you asthmatic? You're not asthmatic, are you? I think it's just I had to move around this other guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, can you... Okay, so I've got my team set up now. There are at least three bulwarks right there. Oh wow, yeah, so this is why I wanted to make sure that I cleared out a single area first. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these guys. Oh, at least that one shot his buddy, That's, that was nice of him. Okay, Jared, make the crowd. There you go. Um, how are is this? I think. Oh, okay. So yeah, so birthright is not leveled up yet. So that's good that we're gonna we're gonna try to focus on kills with Jared. Um. I might Flaro instead. Actually, oops. That's not too bad, actually. Because then I get the damage on me. Oh, no. That was bad. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do. <clears throat> What does this bees do? 12 damage. Throw a jar of bees here if you know you want to. Okay. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. It does some damage. This is nice. Um, does it give them any status effects? Or should I just kill the one seed? I don't know what the bees are doing, so I'm gonna flare so I can inspect these guys next turn. Okay, they're all blind. That's nice. 
I don't know if it does extra damage or if it just confuses them or what, so... Oh wow, 16 damage. He did proc a shell defense though, unfortunately. So they're moving some other guys. Good job, team. exactly clear what the bees are doing. I mean, granted, it's doing a lot of damage, which is awesome, but uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Let's just get a little closer. And let's inspect. He's blinded. Um, I think it's just, I think the bees just do a ton of damage then, which is, which is great. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, take a shot at him. Send them back to that sludge from whence they came. And actually, his birthright getting better. I think that might have leveled up his uh, level five. Nice. So two more kills will get me to level six. Should be easy enough on this uh, this map. Uh, Really, guys? <laughs> Come on. Actually, either of these characters could use the kill, so. It's a sad day when the seed takes four shots to kill. And that's assuming this guy hits, it might take one more. <laughs> We cleared him out though, and that, that bees is pretty powerful. That, like that would have been amazing in the last battle, when there were all those enemies in the tight quarters. It looks like they sort of move around, so my guess is it's possible for the bees to kill you. Um, I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure though. It'll be fun to find out some other time when I'm not. Oops, I keep getting escape there. I wish there's still a guy in that corner. Nope. I can't remember if... I'm going to stealth over here and just see if I can uh, do anything useful. Until then, I'm going to hide. I think there might be one more guy down there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems like there's someone moving. A couple guys. Yeah. It looks like the bees move one square each turn in a somewhat random direction. Although it's quite powerful, I have to say. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that in the future. So we've got one more seed, at least. Mm. Kind of don't want to run through the bees. <laughs> Let's see. I'll move uh, I'll move you over here. Go stealthy. So it's a, a big cradle, advanced cradle. Shatter that rock. Okay, so it's just a couple seeds, no big deal. So yeah, we'll just we'll take some shots at the advanced cradle, take it out, and then we can uh, finish off these. Uh... Oh, a shot there.
Oh, hey, that's even bonus. I did not realize that. Did that do three shots? Hmm, okay. Now you should have an easy time with this one. Nice job. 400 XP, perfect. In fact, I can level up your weapon again. Oh, three XP short. That's funny. Okay. Um, here, and I think just oh, just slightly out of range. No problem. Yeah. Now we we'll use uh, we'll try and get. Oh, there's one more C. Looks like. Let's see. We'll use. Just take a regular shot, soften up. I particularly like the bone bows on these maps because there's all the extra cover that can be destroyed. So, there you go. Put it down. I, you know, I'm warming up to put it down, actually. I, th I think originally I was concerned because I was one-shotting everything, but as enemies get more hit points, it gets more valuable. Deal. I think it's it's a considerable amount of light amount of damage too, particularly with the follow up shot. Um, it turns follow up into two attacks if you get a really good one. So that's new here or there, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I have my bees um, left, I guess. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah, you guys are just, just still play. I know there. are three bulwarks in here, I think. It's going to be not an easy battle. I might just drop the bees on there right at the start. Let's see. What happens if I... Um, stay through and then do... Attack this. Attack this. Can't see over there. Okay, whatever. Looks like the bees have finally dispersed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, actually, you know, I want to get a kill with my caber jack. Let's see, can I get in there? No. Next turn. What if I move up here and attempt to lure him in? I just got to troll around. Okay. Oh, um, right. Shoot, there's a second one. Oh, no, I don't have a shot from here. That's a mistake. That was a big mistake. I did not mean to do that. I can't move here either because then that other one will shoot me. See, I don't know if this guy's seen me yet. Let's see. Okay. Now look, I can see. No, nope, maybe. Nope, he didn't see me. That's lucky. Let's just see how that goes. Um, 
I'll take a shot at him. What? Shoot. Oh, there's three right there, plus another one here, and there's a seed. This would be a good option to just like. I wonder, can I. Can I get in there and drop. The, can I free throw the bees? I don't think I can. That would be amazing though. Hmm. That's good to be Surrender your rooks, indeed. Good old House McGirt. So here's probably the best McGirt that's come out of the house in about over the last 50 years, too, which is good. The last couple generations have been pretty lackluster. Did I not equip her relic weapon? Damn it, I don't think I did. Okay, Jared, you just relax there. Actually, just stealth. There we go. So I think your job is to throw the bees and get out. And then we'll just watch as the bees devour the whole team. Okay. Can you just throw your bees? Dicey. Okay, this is a good experiment. Can I free throw the bees? I can't. Nope. That's a bit of a bummer. So we'll throw the bees in a bottle. And then uh, I'll have one of my way back guys do a flare -out. A mistake. That's okay. He's just there for uh, observation purposes anyway. Those bees are pretty good against them actually. Because it does damage on the enemy's turn also, and so it procs their armor again. Because that's the problem with these guys, is normally you can only do damage to them on your turn. And so you have to deal with the armor every single time. Oh, that was unfortunate. There we go. Go, go, bees! Just because I can, I'm gonna free throw a wonderful uh, potion in here. I'll get two of them. Oh, you're what's her face too? What? I guess the team always has to have a what's her face.
<laughs> I, I, I kind of do like the strategy though, where you, you you send the bees in, and then you just like, let the bees sort of frolic for a while, and you run away. Did I not stealth that guy? That was a mistake. Go, go, bees. It's the bees. Yeah, you're just stealth. It's just another seed. No big deal. Where's my caber? Right back there. Please pretend to be useful. It's the bees! <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah, that you get the, that you get that extra proc on their turn is quite valuable actually. Let the bees do the work. Wow, 16. That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's not good money. Hey, got, you should get stunned down, I think. Oh, that was stupid. The bees just disappeared. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's just put this guy down. Or miss. Why'd you miss? You know I hate it. Let's see. Do you trust me? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was gonna be a little bit concerned there. Oh, hey, got a level. Nice. Uh, I think this is the uh, yeah, this is the hobbling shot for Ada. Okay. I think again. I think the other one's a little better, but. Uh, about too much at this point. He is super advanced. So what have we got? We've got one more, um, there's one more seed just like poking around here, yeah. He's just out of my range though. Oh, there's something else here. This might be another one more, um, might be one more uh, that looks like a seed. I thought there was one more um, bulwark, but clearly I'm mistaken. Is it just me or does that sound like a velociraptor when they do that? The cry. Anyway, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, they're just a couple seeds. No, no big deal. Nothing we can't handle. I'm not going to die. I'm sure that wall who's boss. Good job. Uh, let's see what I want. Do I have anywhere over here that I can get a shot? I don't think so. I'll just, just get up there, I guess. Oh, Kaber. Oh, you're just out of range. Nuts. I think. And then... Sure. Good shot. And then you... Hmm. Free through time? Today we must win. Follow up on this guy. And then if I need to, I can have extra. Yeah, I have extra flask, of course. 
Awesome. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, gonna, I'm even going to slash at him in case there's more guys. In case there's more guys. Good job, Alchemist. Let's see. No, I'll move my camera though. Perfect. So that pack's done. I think that's everything on this little island, but I'm not 100% sure. Um. Oh, stealth over here. Let's see. see, that one didn't sound like a raptor. I don't know what the deal is here. Sometimes they do. Oh, that's right. There's like the one last guy down here that was messing up stuff. I don't think I killed him. Or did I? Did I kill him? Hmm. Man, that being nimble is just awesome. Yeah, there, there must be one more guy just hanging out down here. In the corner or something. So, oh, yeah. There's a bulwark? Okay. Sneak my dudes in there. Just to be certain. Um, there's no real reason for my melee troops to cross this bridge just yet. Or at least my caber jack and my alchemist, my short range guys. Uh, I want to make I want to see what I'm dealing with first. Looks like just a couple. I just want to verify that. So I think I can get my other people into position before they get seen. Or perhaps not. Oh. Flare is useful still. Actually, does this guy have flare? He does. This might be what I end up doing here. Uh, now it's a long range. I just don't know if it's quite that far. Perfect. See, that's always funny. So, did this guy get blinded? So he didn't get blinded, apparently. Is it only people that are next to it, or only? I guess I'm just I'm not concerned. I'm not sure how flare works. A free throw. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, is there any way I can knock it down? I'm too short. I could prime him. That's not bad. Go here and I. Actually, I could prime either one. I should probably. Probably prime the advanced bulwark. I'm gonna prime the cradle actually. Okay. So that means I want to kill the advanced bulwark. Uh, so let's see, let's start with. I'm gonna start with a follow up from Jared. I don't know if it's gonna come or not. She was. Yeah, she was looking at this. That's um, Yeah, I can take the fall up on this guy. Okay, pretty good hit. Uh, I guess I'll just do a free throw on this guy. Oh no, one. Oh, that's funny. Get him around and slash him. Uh, 
I want to see something. Uh, do potions go through the bulwark's defenses? I guess we'll never know. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. So he chose not to... Um, Really? When he... I guess he didn't get blinded, never mind. How do I want to play this? Let's see. Can you do anything? I don't think you can do anything this way. Oh, nope. So I guess just stop in there. Uh, and stun this guy. I think... And a bunch of XP on my main guy. Um, and then you can come down here to right on top of the flare and just flask this guy. This should be a gimme. Yeah. And now um, oops. I'll have you do a shot on this guy. And then I'll have my caber finish him off, I think. Caber still wounded though. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a knockback instead. This should kill him. Surrender your rocks. Land a level up. Kratz. Perfect. This battle will be studied for years to come. Indeed. All that, I should hope so. That was a lot of turns. 26 turns, 30 minutes. Yikes. Um. Uh, I'm going to do charge. I was not very impressed with the slam, particularly because you can't... You, you have to do it right where you're at, it seems like, and so... Um, so we got corrupted here, and we lost it here. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad that we could reduce that by 17 days. That was very helpful. Okay, uh, let's see. Just advance a little bit. The advanced Caberjack armor is ready. They may never want to leave battle again. Indeed. Oh. Critment boost? I don't understand what the critment boost does. To finding more experienced heroes. I don't know, does that mean like when you use the recruit new heroes, they're more experienced then? I think I want the Ultra Elixir. I think this is a good choice. It's fast, and it's something that will help me, you know, regardless of what I'm doing, so. Uh, do you guys have any babies yet? I really want... Oh, Karina! I don't think that's yours. Nimble. Mm -hmm. Creed has died and say guys go. No. It's okay. Hmm. Nile's really good. Someone just like five or Mia. Nah. I think a guy's in is fine. I'm not going to be um I'm not gonna be using them very much. I mean I have so many of them. So doing a so medium good one is okay. Really? You guys aren't gonna have any babies? The Ultra Elixir is ready for human trials. Let's do um I'm gonna adopt a baby boy or baby girl for um for the geyslings over here just because I want them to get some good people. We can't decide on what the right move is here. So, we require a third party. Okay. 
uh, quarantine. Athena Geisling has, has contracted a disease that the capital have never seen before. They're calling it bumbosis. The symptoms aren't too severe, but they're recommending a quarantine that could, because that could easily change, and because it could take at least 10 years of study to figure out a cure. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, oh, I don't know. Quarantiner. I mean, the bumbles, decreased sight, dexterity, and accuracy. Yeah, we're not having that spread to all my heroes in the quarantiner. For your health. Athena is spirited away and placed in a lone house on the outside of the capital that used to belong to an old historian. It, this will be a lonely life, but with all the books, at least boredom won't be an issue, and you rest, just, you rest easy knowing that your decision probably saved many lives. So she's placed in quarantine for the next 10 years. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, okay, let's get that baby girl. Uh, William McGirt has died. Scare in your tower, everything dies eventually. Why are you such trouble? Well, of course I adopted the baby girl, that's a mistake. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, we're putting you in House Geisling. Your dim-witted clum- oh, for goodness sake. You have the best, you have the most powerful, um, partner in the history of the game, and you're not very useful. one person that's not useless for one of my main characters. That's all I ask. <laughs> Again, I'll just grab sort of one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, middling characters. Um, Maria, Maria Geisling's a good choice. Impressionable, asthmatic, rebel, reveler, pack. She has several that are pretty poor, so we'll send her in now. Territory under attack. Uh, uh, oh, okay, it's this one. I couldn't see it under the thing. I think... I think I actually want to defend my Crucible. A young female Caberjack. I think that's a good choice. Um, but what also is a good choice is me taking a break and stopping this episode. So this has been episode 16 of Massive Chalice, and I'm really excited that we got to try out the Alchemist Bees. That was fun. Um, I'll have to do that a little bit more. But uh, yeah, until next time, this is Daniel from Rosewood Academy, and this has been si episode 16 of Massive Chalice.